Hello guys, I thought it was time that I shared my first impressions on F1 Manager. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up and also subscribing to the channel. Now I've been lucky enough to have some first impressions on this and I really do want to stress that the footage that you're seeing and the experience that I had is subject to a day one patch. So it's not final still, but I really, really just wanted to share my thoughts in a really unbiased way as a pretty die-hard Formula 1 fan and also a management style uh, game fan and just give you my honest thoughts on it. Now, I think it's really important to say that you do not drive the car in this game. I've seen it in my previous content on Formula 1 Manager, people asking, do you drive the car and why doesn't F1 have this like the Codemasters game? It's just really important to differentiate the two. Think FIFA and think Football Manager. They're different things. F1 Manager and then you've got the F1 driving game. I, I, I know it might seem obvious to some, but some are asking the question. Now, I think, first of all, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. Um, and there's some clunky bits, but we'll get into it. If you're the type of person who loves the strategic side of Formula One, if you're someone who wants to take that team from the back to the front of the grid, if you're that person who's maybe a fan of Ferrari and wants to make the right calls in a Grand Prix, then this game's probably for you. You simulate a full race, and as you can see on the footage behind me, you can go at normal speed basically and simulate the entire Grand Prix and you can micromanage things like ERS usage, fuel usage, tyre usage, team orders whether to battle their teammate or indeed hold up cars behind and even before you get to the race you've got the practices and you've got the qualifying and for someone like me it's just it's magnificent because you've got the balancing act of do you put your reserve driver in to gain experience in practice one to aid their development um, at the cost of one of your drivers or do you just go for it with your, your normal first two drivers and you go through uh, your practice sessions while your drivers are learning and they're learning their setup, maybe testing out new parts and just getting acclimatized to the circuit. It's really important as well to manage what tires you're using and how many sets you're using with a thought to where you're going to be in qualifying. Is your team going to get to Q3? Do you need extra sets of tires for that? Even though you do get some extras. And then into qualifying, are you going to risk one run in Q1? Are you going to do more runs in, in, in later sessions and things like that? How many sets of tyres are you going to use? How much are you going to push? Can you make it into those later qualifying sessions? And for me, it's just, I love this whole side of it. And I was worried, honestly, that there was going to be too much data in some of the early screenshots too much data on screen and it'd be, it'd be alienating maybe for a casual user but honestly i think uh, uh, they've done a brilliant job i think i think also it needs to be qualified that this is their first attempt um with the intellectual property with this style of game um, while members of the team may have worked on other managerial games and things like that in the past, maybe other F1 games, this is the first one since Motorsport Manager, really, that we've had that does this kind of thing. And I want to address that as well, because I've seen what I feel are unfair comments where people are saying that this is just a copy and paste of Motorsport Manager. Now, look... Let's be really honest about it. Motorsport Manager was a great game, and I'm sure people from F1 Manager would say the same thing. But there were a lot of things, you know, that could be improved upon. Not least, the race viewer. You know, this, this is fantastic. It's like real footage. And I'll get on to a couple of thoughts on that later. But the things that people were saying were a copy and paste are like how do you come up with the setups well you send your drivers out and then you move sliders around on based on their feedback and all i would say is that's the mechanics of it in real life 
the drivers have a setup. Maybe that's informed by the simulators back at base, but they have a setup. They go out, they do a run, they come back, they give feedback, and the setup is adjusted per that. I honestly think it, it's kind of a compliment to Motorsport Manager and maybe other games in the past that that's really the most intuitive way of doing it. And I, I can't blame F1 Manager for doing it. It's easy to understand. It's sliders that get smaller and, and you just dial in that setup. And I don't have a problem with that at all, personally. Um, this is a superb game in its own right. It really, really is if you're into Formula 1 and the nuance of Formula 1. And then to add to that, in between races, you've got facility upgrades, you've got t like team upgrades and, and things like that, where you can upgrade your HQ, you can upgrade things to help your car development, like CFD, wind tunnel, and things like this. And you can develop your car as well, in between um, races, so on and so forth. You can, you can upgrade anything about your car, really, the underfloor, the side pods, the front, the rear wing, the suspension, um, and things like that. And I think that's one of the main draws of such a game, right? You can take your team and you can fight to get them to where you want them. And you can also bring in your drivers. Like you can see in the footage behind me, I was playing as Alpine because I like Alpine. I've been lucky enough to visit the Alpine factory and I'm a Fernando Alonso fan. So for me, it was natural to play as Alpine as I was testing it. And this is so. This is one of those games that if you're into this kind of thing, guys, you'll put it on and, and, and just hours disappear. Hours disappear. But back to the recruitment thing. You can go and get your drivers and you can... You, you can decide what, where you're going and what you're doing and what you what you're trying to do. So I I had a thought. I've I've obviously got um, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, and Piastri, but you can go and get as young as like 16 year old youth drivers from the driver market. So do you go and get one of those as your reserve driver? If maybe you're Aston Martin and you've got Nico Hulkenberg, he's nearly at his ceiling, right? So, would you bring in a younger driver and start giving them first practice sessions and things like that? It's up to you, isn't it? You can manage it your way. And I just, I just think that's fantastic. And I think a lot of people will really enjoy that dynamic getting into it. And this is one of my favorite bits, as you're seeing behind. This is me building a, um, a strategy for the race for Ocon and you can see I've got different on Alonso and different on Ocon there I chose different strategies I split the strategies but you can run similar ones you can do as you wish basically and uh, you can even go into the race with no strategy and do it completely on the fly and I just I, I I'm just really complimentary about this now a real quick point I wanted to make the only thing I found sometimes in rare conditions is that the race viewer uh, can get a little bit clunky with um, if there's an incident and I think they can patch this out if there's an incident then sometimes the, the, the cars can get a little bit stuck but that's only happened like once in probably 15 hours of gameplay and and sometimes the crashes and things look a bit derpy but for a first attempt this is solid this is really really solid if you're into your managerial games, if you're into motorsport, if you're into F1, honestly, it's unparalleled on the market, in my opinion. I don't think there's anything else like it on the market. I've been waiting for this years. I had high expectations, really high, and I'm not disappointed at all. I'm really not disappointed. It's everything I wanted it to be. Um, and I, I've got to say, for a first attempt, it's it's mega. I'd give it somewhere in the region of a, a solid a solid 7, if not like a low 8 out of 10, honestly, at the minute, from what I've played, and it's still subject to a patch. But I would love to know your thoughts, guys. I really, really would love to know your thoughts. And I've missed out lots here. Please do subscribe to the channel, because there is going to be lots and lots and lots of F1 Manager content coming your way absolutely tons of it and i can't wait to make it because this is exactly my kind of game 
Thank you so much for watching, guys, and let me know in the comments if you're going to be picking this up, what you think to the game, and yeah. Cheers, guys. Please make sure you're hitting that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.